Welcome back. This is a 10 cent 100 easy snow gaming. The best podcast in the world. Not really. Uh, my numbers are up. I see everybody wants new content and stuff. Alrighty, I'm going to give them to it. Alright, this is. Let's talk about gaming right now. Five years later. It's been five. Everybody's like, oh, there's going to be a Switch 2 because there's. Because podcasting or because not but I, I don't know why I said podcasting because they say the switch is getting old the switch is five years old and it needs to be a new generation so it switch two or switch whatever pro or something let's see what this uh let's see what the uh, cnnet.com has to say the tech gaming five year whatever let's see what they have to say about it so then, then the gaming console since has been on scene since March 3rd, 2017. And five years later now, not all that much since its initial release. Nintendo has approved the Switch Better Life, Battery Life, released a smaller light model, and it added an OLED, switch, an OLED screen. The idea of the Switch, however, has remained the same. Its model mainly uses the Type C and GPU to let's go let's read more last year it seemed like we might be getting a whole new switch instead a switch OLED ended up being coming out which that was true yeah everybody thought the switch pro was gonna come out and stuff like that and never happened and I don't know what's next but Let's get to it. Uh, Nintendo has historically released new consoles roughly every six, five to six years. Same out in 2017, the, Nintendo, the Wii U in 2012, the Wii in 2006, the GameCube in 2001, and the 64 in 96. Which, that is true, they do bring one out every five to six years. Which is crazy, but... It is true, 100%. But I'm looking forward to see what Nintendo's got coming. They got they they released Pokemon Arceus or Ecarus or whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, they just announced two new Pokemon games. They've now what else did they announce? They announced all kinds of games, all kinds of new stuff coming out. Uh. But still, they haven't became a 4K gaming system yet. They still ain't gave us the full 4K capabilities. To, yeah, they gave us new screens, but they didn't really give us what we wanted, was looking for. A pro, a pro model is what we're looking for. So that's what we're looking for. I mean, the wish box is pretty cool. Let's see what else they got to say. Four career graphics aren't the only thing Nintendo can't adapt. Thinking graphics that could let the Switch finally complete com compete with the Xbox and PlayStation, but the, I mean, they can't. They, I don't know why they can't, but I don't understand. You ain't got Netflix on the Switch, which I don't understand that at all. When they had Netflix on all the other systems, like the Wii and the Wii U had Netflix, so I don't. Ha how do you not have Netflix on the Switch? I only got Hulu and Crank Crackle, uh, Crunchyroll, I think, or whatever it's called, the anime series. When all their ha all their handhelds have them, so I don't really understand none of that. It don't make no sense to me. But Microsoft did do something similar with an Xbox One X before the Series X and S. Uh, J oh yeah, drifting Joy-Cons. That's another thing they fixed. 
Uh, even better switch display. I mean. I mean, yeah, we get seven inches, seven inch OLED, OLED screen, but it still displays a 720p. But even better, 8, 1080p OLED screen would make sense for the next generation. So they might be working on something. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's just speculation right now about the new stuff. Uh stuff like that but besides that I mean I don't really know what else to expect from Nintendo besides the new Pokemon games they release uh, updates on games uh, more coming with uh, Animal Crossing apparently uh, Breath of the Wild 2 nobody knows what's going on with it We don't know if it's going to be pushed back. We hope it ain't going to be pushed back because that would suck. But I really don't know. But that's it. That's all I have to say to that. And that's my take on the Nintendo Switch. And that's some of the things in the article. They pretty much saying the same thing I'm saying. And I'm out.